This ain't no joke. So I take her to her house, pull up outside. She like, you want to come in and watch a movie? She said, I want to watch a movie if you get the paper. So in my mind, I'm like, let's get right to it. Entire time, on straight brick. My soldier was standing strong. He was strong. He was ready to fight. And she like, dang, what's wrong with you? I'm just like, look, I'm just built different. <laughs> So this shit worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. I'm not a. I'm not a. A medical physician. The Wild Wild West. Yeah, but as well as I've never eaten soy sauce. That's not true. It I've is. seen you <laughs> consume soy. I've never consumed soy in my life. That's that's just patently it untrue. Makes lactate. I found that out when I was like nine. I never touched it. Some people claim that's not yellow true. five. I've never touched. Dude, and I know I know what adamame is, and I like it. Yeah, I know exactly what it means. You probably start lactating. Yeah. Do you think so? No, that's you can dude, eat. the second that the yellow five thing dropped, I stopped eating it. Bullshit. And dude. you can see it in my balls, man. I've seen you do the do. <laughs> You've never seen my ball. You've never seen me drink Mountain Dew. I've do. seen you do the do. Maybe in like third grade, not since my balls. That was before in. you knew. <laughs> Once I found out, I never touched yellow five again. Banana runs, tossed them. <laughs> Every single you've never had you've you've definitely had yellow five since then. I've not touched Wait, it. Wait, what's yellow then. five? It's a food dye. So have you ever had cake at like a family party that was a sheet nope. cake? Not as yellow five. I've seen you eat that too. I've seen you eat that too. You've had yellow five, dude. I had soy sauce too. <laughs> so I get the, yeah, tamari is just also soy sauce anyway. Is yeah, the what? Tamari is like the gluten free soy sauce. But it still has soy in it. It does. Yeah, you're a so you're a heavy soy dude. Dude, what? That's no, why I'm not. Like I used to avoid it, then I stopped because um if yours mask is me, it's not gonna do anything. <laughs> it's not gonna affect you. I actually you. need it to kind of counterbalance. Uh, you're me. like Jones. I'm pretty masked, so <laughs> yeah. I, I like my. It's doctor's orders. I you ever get the like, spins from like too much tea running through you? All the time. <laughs> Never. All the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> too much tea. Yeah, all the time. Testosterone, dude. If I oh, go, okay. I'm on the seventh floor here right now. If you put me on like the fifteenth floor, if I just start like formulating, I, I have to. I can't be like a. I can only be a certain height within a building. Dude, I, my testosterone levels are so low. I thought we were talking about like English breakfasts and grace. <laughs> I was like, never in my life. Dude, what do you get the when spins? The tea's flowing through yeah. you. Fucking relax, dude. Your Drink tea's less too of it. Low. It is, dude. I want to get shots. I don't know where to go. Dude, get them. you start juicing. Also, Drew Montana, CEO of Heavy Campers, Tom up, Custer. Yep. CEO, student. 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 Returning. Scientist. How student was, scientist. How was your orientation <laughs> process? It was just mostly lab safety. And so, that was your orientation to well, the entire school? Well, I skipped, school? like, the real orientation. Okay. I just didn't go. So I was like, what are they, you know, I don't need to What go the there. hell, dude? This is your second shot at a fucking education. Yeah, but, I mean, it was. it's all, like, I'm just trying to get the lab points. So, like, I didn't, I didn't want to go through, like, you know. Real orientation would just be, like, you and a bunch of 18-year-olds, right? Not a community college. Okay. The, yeah. the age spans all over the place. <laughs> we got everybody. Like, I'm not even <laughs> the oldest dude in there. Nice. Yeah. There's some people that are older than me. Nice. Then there's, like... I'd say the median age is 20. Really? It's mostly um, people going to school for physical therapy that want to transfer to like Penn State. That yeah. Because we did like the icebreaker session and everyone was like, I believe they're called whores. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Mostly dudes. Or just <laughs> dumb <laughs> athletes. That's yeah. what they're they want to go to Penn State. I'm sure they do. Dude. Kinesiologists yeah. and whatnot. Do you think they finally get to the state and like they're just like hammered one night at Penn State and like it was all worth it? I think they get <laughs> all up there. that grueling community college was all worth it. I think they get up there and like they try to party like the kids that have been there for two years. Oh, really? Did you ever party at Penn State? Once. It's fucking weird. It's insane. Like the drunker people get, the more they just start screaming we are and shit. Yeah. And you're like, I don't know. That's anywhere that likes sports, though. It's like, like a military. I guess so. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll yeah, be Pe the spring and people are screaming go birds at a fi fucking Philly bar. Yeah, like, Penn State, relax. dude. Penn State's, State's isolated weird, from everything dude. else. It's isolated. True. So it's just like you're up yeah. there. It's like the military for alcoholics. And people get real into the blue and white. They do. You have nothing else to get and into. No one wants to talk about the pedophilia. But I was up Nobody there before it broke. Definitely. Yeah. I was up there. Probably. I had a feeling something was going on back when you were then. up there. Yeah. I was yeah. like, dude, something's going on up there. Whoa. 
This is before it happened? Yeah, I was like, this this program, something too, about that yeah. program had yeah. me kind of being like, dude, there's something's kind of sus about this program. Smelled fishy. Yeah, dude, was, we had, a, I want to suss that dude out. I'm not going to obviously name any names, but uh, someone we know. So what would you do in this situation? Someone we know. Someone you two know or me and you know? You and I know. Okay. Someone, a youngster. Pedophile? Is going to school. No, no. Oh, <laughs> I'm good. I don't smoke high CBD legal weed like you do <laughs> for age restricting purposes. The, uh, <laughs> this is big gas. Big gas. Yeah. Smoke one. I appreciate you. Pack. Yeah. I appreciate we smoke Are you allowed to pack. smoke D8 on YouTube? I don't, dude, I don't know. They just, they'll just age restrict you like crazy. The technocrats are out of control. That's true. But dude, you got to call uh, your boy psych substance. But he, I've, I've talked about him before. He's <laughs> fucked up right now. He's, he's back. He's back? Yeah. He's not. He wasn't having a good. The time. algorithm constantly feeds me him, and I'm like, I'm trying to write YouTube. Like, I'm not. I don't want to fuck with this guy. Stop just sending me his videos. Click the thing. But I click on his video to fucking just be like, the fuck's he talking about now? Yeah, they. It, so yeah, yeah, they're right. Get me again. They're right, dude. So we know there's a situation right now. I'm trying to figure out. We know someone. They're younger. They're in school, and they're going like they're pretty young, and they're having a male teacher now, who like all the kids were like looking forward to. We were talking about this. Oh yeah. Yeah, pull the mic up a little closer to you. My bad, my bad. It's a so a female student is in the hot male teacher's class. I don't, I haven't seen if this guy's hot or not, but they were he's like, he's cool. He's cool. They're Ooh. too young to say he's hot. Yeah, yeah, they're young. I'm talking young. So oh. it's like it's it's this cool male teacher in a grade school, and like we're trying to figure out if it's appropriate to roll up on him and be like, what the fuck? I already the told. I already dropped the message. What to who? Like. The student told me, she was like, oh, I got the cool teacher this year. And I was like, tell him your uncle wants to meet him and see what he's all about. Give him that message. <laughs> Ver fucking yeah. bait him. Like, hey, my uncle wants to meet you and see what you're about. You got to meet this guy like he's a prom date, dude. Just cock the shotgun. Like, I'm what just the gonna, fuck are you teaching? No, nah, it's, it's more like, so, it's just, I want to just, I wanted to have them, have her tell him like, yo, my entire family thinks you're very sus. <laughs> <laughs> like they want to, they genuinely want you to come She's to a dinner. younger student. Very how, young. How old are we talking? We're talking like single digit. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. Super young. So I want her to be like, "Yo, invite him over for dinner, and all of us just grill him. Like, are you a fucking pedophile or what, dude? Like, what's your fucking deal? Yeah. What's maybe, your twist? Dude? Maybe he's from another time, dude. He what do you might mean? just love education. Know, that, was, that was cool in the medieval times, dude. <laughs> maybe he's, he's doing a period piece. I don't know. He's I don't trying know. to be cool, dude. I he want could him to just come to the love house. education. Yeah. No one loves education. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, who loves education is like I'm trying. I'm, I'm saying go on the off chance, but I'm not going to give him that benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna. That's what I'm saying. I'm vigilant. I'm pull up on him. I'm. I'm gonna James O'Keefe the school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Project Veritas, dude. That's those videos are the fucking funniest shit. I. That's like they've completely infiltrated my algorithm. What James O'Keefe? James O'Keefe. Like Project Veritas. Just he just he tricks dudes. Into thinking like a chick wants to fuck him. Yeah. Every it's single the it's the oldest same. trick in the book, dude. <laughs> it is the oldest, is the trick, the oldest book. trick in is the book. Is he like a, a YouTube uh, pedophile hunter? No, no that he, dude's no, cool. Uh, the dude with the hand tats. He yeah. never shows his yeah, face. That dude fucking rules. I actually might connect him. I might give him a tip. Be like, yo, there's a school. This guy's Tell him to shake him down. <laughs> shit, dude. But, but yeah, yeah, James O'Keefe, he just sends in the honeypot. He sends in the honeypot. And he gets these dudes... Like just like dudes in like button down polo shirts just fucking spill the beans. It gives them like three really course lights. Just, dude, and they'll be like, like Pfizer, like, blah, 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 blah. You get one chick who's like, I mean, I want to see how hot these I mean, I guess you don't want to give away the field operatives, but it's like right. dude. They're I, probably not that hot. He probably has like them dialed in where it's like He is the master. He's like, let's he like sees who works at Google. Yeah. And then he's like, All right. Go talk to him about Hunter's laptop. And he goes and finds a chick who he would be like, she's out of my league, but maybe. True. Three beers plus that equation. And he's like, well, yeah, also, we censored the whole laptop. Those dudes always, they always have like a modicum of like power within their sphere. So it does make sense to them. That they're like, some girl wants to like hang and like chat. Oh, with yeah. Because I don't know. Do they come at them as reporters? No, no, no. They like, I think they get jobs there. What? I don't know. There's no way they would say they're a reporter. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't fuck with the Veritas heavily enough. I fuck with it hard, dude. I, I love get it. let down. Like Billy used to always be, like, dude. Watch, like they're about to fucking raid the. Like you it's know. just funny because they literally will, and it would never come through. It would always be like it's not. This isn't like that. This. But I'm saying like Project Veritas will get someone from a huge company to admit that like some injectable thing. Everyone ignores it. Everyone ignores everything they say. I know. They'll be like, <laughs> oh, like, nobody cares. We knew, it's just so we knew funny. that this like unnamed injectable medicine <laughs> yeah, from 2020 was going to kill everyone. No, it's not like and that. Then, like, but I'm saying like that, they'll drop the heaviest <laughs> knowledge. And then the news is just like, dude, you see like so-and-so admitted that. And everyone's like, 
Like fuck that, fuck well, that guy. Kim Kardashian fell off a bike, you know. I yeah. know, but and it, that's well, like ten million views. He, what did he got? He got one guy basically being like, "We're just going to keep hammering this down their throats." We don't know. The one guy yeah. came out was like, "Who knows, dude? Who cares? It's all about pressure in the kids." But yeah, the that stuff. It's just funny when he confronts them and they're like, "I don't want to do this." He got the guy. Some dude went out and had like a. He was drinking like a sex on the beach, staring like sitting across from a chick, and was sitting there being like. Yeah, we don't hire Catholics. <laughs> he just said, we don't. And he went to a restaurant the dude was at and was like, yo, what's good, dude? I'm James O'Keefe. You don't hire Catholics? That's against the law, bro. Article 2B5A56, Connecticut law, dude. And the guy starts being like, I don't consent to this. And he's like, dude, I'm a reporter. He just stands there. He's like, I'm a reporter looking for the answers. Yeah, it's, and then the cops like, obviously come. And he's like, you're arresting a reporter? And they're like, dude, it's fucking stop. Dude. And he, no, he sounds like it. the problem, dude. James O'Keefe is a problem. Cool. Dude, he nailed this guy. There's a lot of entrapment going on here, dude. I mean, oh, it's entrapment at its finest. Yeah. It's like headhunters. This is my yeah, biggest fear. Yeah, but here's fear. the thing. These dudes are trying to be too cool for pussy, and they do deserve... It's like, bro, you're trying to be too cool for pussy. That's what I'm fired up do about. Do they at least get some pussy? No, dude. Oh, it's it's a full honeypot yeah. operation. Yeah, it's a full honeypot. It's a full honeypot. So these guys come out and just literally like fuck their careers up <laughs> over like two drinks with like a probably kind of a hot chick. This guy, for some reason, they were talking. She was like, do you hire Catholics? And he was like, no, we don't hire them. We just throw their resumes away. He's like, they're brainwashed. <laughs> and then he came out. I was like, why don't you hire Catholics, dude? It's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> up. Yeah, it's pretty tight. So it's, they wouldn't hire Shia. Huh? They wouldn't hire Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're telling me as a school teacher, <laughs> you wouldn't hire Shia LaBeouf. I can't wait to see him play P.O., dude. I can't. He's the best actor of our generation. Dude, I, he has me. I want to join AA. You should join AA, dude. I want to. I don't, but I, I'll get. You can get something, dude. What do you think? I mean, just go through your week and make a like journal and then pick what vice you did the most. Join that. You know yeah, I mean? that's true. But I, I dude, I, I get so jealous. So they, he did the talk with the pre, with the bishop. That was pretty tight. Did you see his talk with uh, the guy from The Walking Dead has a podcast? I didn't see it. His name's Shane. It's like, that's a character from The Walking Dead. He I never watched a single episode of that show. Is it good? Which one is Shane? Shane's the guy who like kind of goes wild, a bit of a mad dog. Okay. Don't want to give a spoiler, but he's the dude's like big time buddy who fucks his. Oh wife. yeah, yeah, yeah. dude, I, I fucking character. hate that guy. He's the worst in everything he's in. Well, he's yeah. I, I've only seen him in that, and yeah, he was a pretty bad. He did fuck that guy's wife. He stinks, dude. Is it a good? Is it worth watching? No. Walking Dead. Yeah. It's kind of fun, and then all of a sudden it becomes like like a comic book. The first 15 episodes are good, and then the next 15 are the first 15 just, just in a different redo. place. What yeah. are they, like, <laughs> killing zombies or something? <laughs> That's I've the never entire into show, yeah. I was never into zombies, but you watch it, and yeah. it's, like, it's pretty sick. When you watch, it's pretty fun, and then it does. It just becomes, like, so fucking crazy. Once they killed the Asian guy, I was out. I was like, this is like fucking... Like, on principle? Yeah, dude, they That's just had no. Glenn, dude, Glenn was the man. Yeah, they I mean, just, I I'm, I'm big up. on I'm big on like represent Asian representation in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah and so I don't, I don't, them. I like seeing like I need, we need more cool alpha Asians and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I feel that. That's yeah. something I see that fucking grinds my gears. Yeah, dude, personally. Why is Jackie Chan not actually kicking zombie ass? That's the question. What, what do you mean? He could be in that movie or in that show. Isn't he dead? Jackie Chan. No, no way, dude. Who's <laughs> thinking Chan's of Brandon Lee? Yeah. You're thinking Bruce of Brandon Lee. Brandon, no, I think Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee and Brandon Lee are dead. His Both son died? Passed. His son died while filming The Crow. True. This might have been before your time. He got <laughs> shot on set. He yeah. got shot on set. By who? Alec Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, really? Um, same deal. It was like a loaded thing, but it was like... But his dad died on set, too, because a camera, a lighting rig fell on him. What? <laughs> Bruce Lee got killed by a lighting rig that fell on him. Wait, no, Really? I'm like 95% sure if we got fact checkers. I thought he had a heart attack, dude. What? I'm on it. No, Bruce Lee didn't have a heart attack. How would he have a heart attack? Yeah, he's, he's like so fit. He's a martial artist. His Brad Pitt kicked his ass so in that fast. movie, though. Brad Pitt beat his ass? Did you watch uh, the Hollywood movie, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Uh-uh. You didn't see that movie? mm mm-hmm. Oh, it was so fucking good. I'm watching Veritas, scene. bro. I'm trying to break. I'm yeah, trying you're to trying to bring down the, the people. You're trying to get the Catholics I'm trying to up. see horny dudes in khaki spill the beans, Just dude. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Bruce Lee... Had a lighting rig fall on him. Uh, and then Brandon Lee, while filming The Crow, got shot with what should have been blanks. This says uh, Bruce Lee died at age 32 in Hong Kong from a brain edema, probably caused by a prescription painkiller. That, that uh, was it. Debunked. That was it, dude. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm he sorry. had a brain heart attack, dude. I thought he got killed by a light. I think the I light fell up. on him, and that's why he started taking painkillers. That could be Possibly. Because, uh, yeah, brain edema is like, what the fuck is that? What was he on? 
I'm not sure. Like I'm perks sure. or something? Oh, them Urkels. <laughs> if I had those 512 yeah, Urkels. Yeah. Urkel. <laughs> <laughs> but Brandon Lee definitely got killed on set. Yeah. He that got, I did hear. While Cops. filming The Crow. Fuck, dude. That movie was so sick, too. I never saw it. The All crow? the goths loved it. Like, I never saw it. The topic crowd loved it. Yeah, they, oh, they saw. still put the movie out after he yeah, died? Yeah, they like wrapped yeah, up because they had budget. enough going. Like, Hell yeah. I think they went to like, let's get one more clip of this one shot in the beginning and he died. What are they doing with the Alec Baldwin movie? Are they still putting that out? That's yeah, coming out. I don't Blu-ray. know. Are they still coming out? They better. Straight to Blu-ray. They better. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking better. I guess they better. What's up with him? They should go out. They should bring that out and just sell it in like Target and like a wire rack. He's chilling. Alec Baldwin's like doing podcasts and he just had Tim Dillon on his podcast a couple weeks ago. He had Tim Dillon on his podcast? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but didn't it come out that he did in fact shoot her? Yeah. Oh no, he did it. Oh like, yeah. What's Baldwin just like doesn't doesn't even acknowledge it. Yeah, he's chilling, dude. I guess that's all you can do at that point. When yeah. you shoot a lady on set? Yeah. And did then it. deny it and then get debunked. No, he he said he did it. Didn't no, he? he said I didn't pull the trigger. He cried and was like, "I never pulled that trigger." He said the gun just went off. He said the gun just went off. <laughs> That's a bad story. That's a fucking real shitty story. And then, like, they came out forensically and they were like, "No, you did pull the trigger." Yeah. And then I, I mean, either it. way, he was gonna beat it because he thought it was fake. So why wouldn't you just be honest? Like, dude, if you guys not ever held a fake gun, like you're of course gonna pull the trigger. Yeah. Yeah, of course, I would have just been. I think he was like, "Ha ha, bang bang!" Yeah, and killed her. It wasn't a fake gun. It was a real gun, though. Uh, Should have had blanks. Yeah, I guess. I guess I'm so. a big gun safety guy, dude. I saw that. Right. I'm a big gun. Yeah. I, I had a comment. I took everything in me not to comment. You're a big anti two A head too. You're, What's anti two A? Like handing your guns, like gun roundups, gun buybacks. No way, dude. <laughs> what, dude? Typical city live. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking no way, about, dude? dude? Matt, are you a traitor? No, are you against a, the Second Amendment? Big, dude? Like, That's not true. At he's all. a big like AR 15s are only for blah, Yo, blah, blah. No way. Matt don't fuck with bump stocks, dude. <laughs> That's not true. I'm being literally slandered. I'm literally being slandered. What is going on? I'm here, just dude. trying to make up for him. I'm, I'm debunking my huge balls. No eating yellow five. <laughs> I'm highly litigious, dude. Yeah. I'm just, you're litigious, insanely dude. litigious. So you're the opposite. You want everyone to have hundred round drums on the glizzies. Yeah, you're with fucking, it. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Matt's with the shit. I feel like I'm more worried about like I, I feel like I could talk anyone out no matter what your armaments were. I feel like I could just be like, whoa, brother, what are you doing? Whoa, brother. What the, what I don't the think it you? works like that whoa, all the time. Whoa, brother, brother, what are we even <laughs> doing here right now? You're like a gun to the head, talk them down to That's it. what I'm, I'm yeah, more yeah, like I can that. see you I'm like basically that. P.O. Being like, this is the first time I ever had a fucking gun in my face. Dude, <laughs> do you do you my daydreams constantly? Yeah. Like, do you think it's the first time someone put a fuck gun on me, bro? Fuck if you, come on, do it. If you get carjacked at a Sunoco at midnight, are you talking him down or are you just like, have it, brother? Yeah, I'm going, brother. Hey, I'd be doing? like, have it, dude. My what, what are we doing, brother? You're what out. are we doing? While it's in here. And I, I sweet talk the entire time. Like, like, do you not know I'm on Matt and Shane's secret podcast? No, I'm just going to go, brother. You don't got to Hey, be like, dude, this. get on the Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you on the page, dude. <laughs> I'll get you in on the dollar thing. Just bro, bro, just wait till the end of the month. Wait, to, please, wait, wait till the end of the month. I had a gun on me one time. And I had like, who put that thing on you? Me and Phil were on the porch. Oh yeah. And I had, I had this plumber doing all this work and then I like got paid that day. So I had like 1200 bucks in my pocket and I had to meet the plumber in the morning who had already done the work. So like I come home from work, I should have went inside, but instead I sat down on the porch. This kid comes up and like pulls a gun on us. He's like, empty your pockets. Damn. And I was like, I just got the droid too. Shit. From like Billy gave it to me. So I, he literally just gave me the droid too that day. So I was like, It's the way of the droid. I was like, Fuck, I can't give you this 1200 bucks, bro. Like, it's already spent on some plumbing issue I had yesterday. Yeah. So I was like, Dude, I got the droid too. You want that instead? I don't have anything in my pocket. And he was like, Fuck yeah, give me the droid too. So I just tossed <laughs> the droid too to him and he split. You got Debo, dude. That's <laughs> up. But it, like, I still had my other phone. I was you literally. Kept the 1200. I was really. Just, yeah, I had the 1200 still in my pocket. Nice. He never took it, but I was just like looking at him like, oh man, I can go switch this at the Verizon store tomorrow. I'm like checking out the droid too. The dude pulled the gun out, so I was like, here, take the droid too. Did you ever have a heat on you? Uh, Once, dude, over a half ounce of weed. And I was like, you can have this. Who <laughs> <laughs> put the heat on you? This kid, in my, uh, he graduated from my high school. And then he was like still around. That's how I knew he was bad yeah, business, dude. Yeah, yeah. You can't hang around with those dudes. Yeah. But he was like, yeah, I need a half ounce. And then we went up some stairs. And then when he got to the top of the so stairs, good. he just turned around with it on him. And I was like five stairs away from the top. And I was like, you're good. Like he already yeah. had the weed. So it wasn't he just like. just didn't want to give you like the 80 yeah. bucks. Like he could have just locked the door <laughs> and that would have been easier. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, but he wanted to flash that thing yeah. on. Yeah. He's like, dude, this is my weed now. Yeah. 
You're like, all right. Yeah, yeah. there are dudes like that. I, there was a couple dudes who would do that to drug, like to high schoolers back in the day. Who were like, there was always one guy who would like pull a fucking like gun or a knife or something over like an eighth, and you're like, dude. Yeah, have dude, it was such a little amount that I wasn't like, even in the time, I wasn't scared he was going to shoot me. Yeah. I was just like, all right, you can, ha I'm not going to make this. <laughs> like, yeah, issue. what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm not going to chill with you anymore. Yeah. yeah, I immediately called my boys and said that. I'm like, dude, that guy Chris is a fucking, a dub, dude. We can't hang with him no yeah. more. <laughs> he fucking pulled the thing He's on beat. me. <laughs> He's beat, dude. That is a beat move. <laughs> That's such a beat yeah. move. I was beat, dude. He got me. He got you. Checkmate. In the stairwell. Well, imagine yeah. if he murdered you over that. Yeah. That would have stunk. I would have fallen down 20 stairs, dude. That would have been oh, worse than getting yeah. shot. <laughs> Just got godfathered for like 14 <laughs> grams of weed. Yeah. It was probably short, too. The bag was probably short. It was. It was bad weed. Really? So yeah. We were giving out Reggie back then, for sure. <laughs> it sucks. But yeah, I'm going to join. I think I'm going to join AA. Are you? Just for access to six. Dude, if you watch the Shia LaBeouf with the guy from uh, Walking Dead... It's Are they nothing. both AA heads? He's got to be. I don't know. The other guy, I can't say for sure. But, like, dude, they're both going back and forth. And just the level of sayings is like. Dude, they have the best sayings. It's fucking, dude. He's like, and out the shy's there. He's like, yeah, I'm on the beach. This guy's like, don't fucking bullshit me, dude. You can't. And he's like, you know, I'm putting on a performance. He's like, yeah, you can stop all that. And I'm, dude, just get the big book. The big book? Yeah. Yeah, but you, the slang you get from the it's dudes. It's all in it, I think. Nah, dude. He was like, he's like, yeah, but he like, he had this, this guy gave him a tape. He listened to the tape. He got this, like, it was like this old Zen story. And um, he, like, came back in two days later. His, like, girlfriend broke up with him. He's like, usually I'd spaz. But this time I was just kind of like, whatever. So he listened to that, like, story. So he comes in. He's like, yo, this shit's fucking working. They're like, yo, you're pink clouding, bro. You're pink clouding. And I was like, what does that mean? I mean? This just means, like, you're just glad, like, rosy. Oh. Pink clouding is when you're just kind of being like, yo, it's, this is it. This is it. It's yeah, working. Yeah, I'm They're doing like, it. Bro, yeah, you're pink no, clouding. You're not there yet, dude. You haven't done a year. Yeah. yeah he had a dude it. apparently went to him was like, where you got to get rid of your cell phone. You got to dump. If you have a girlfriend, get rid of her. He's like, you can't do anything. And then within that, like talking to that dude, he joined a spiritual group on Zoom and then met the director of P.O. The director of P.O. was like, bro, we're making this. You got to play P.O. So Shia LaBeouf's completely sober now. Yeah. And was booze his problem? Yeah, I think it was definitely booze. You know, usually there's a little, I don't want to smite the man, but usually yeah. there's some blow kicking around there. Yeah, but booze is like the main. It's a, it's a cornerstone. Yeah. But usually, a lot of times, with the alcohol enters the booze or enter, enters the coke, and then it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. you can you can get power to drink. But yeah, do the interviews is them being like it's it's really funny to watch him dude, be like and he was like don't it. fucking don't fucking bullshit me, brother. Just get a DUI. I could. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I could, and then go to meetings. I could. I could just, or just front. go to a meeting. I might just front, and then anytime they have like oh, I can't talk, man. Yeah, like, no, you could share. Just be like I'm still counting days. Counting days is hot slang. What? I mean, you're like freshly sober. <laughs> count days? So I'm just counting days. Yeah, I'm still counting days. And you like you see people you know getting chipped and you're pumped. You're like, yo, you're getting chipped. Yeah, you know, dude. Yeah. I did it for like 90 days. You what? Well, what? I went to CBD hab. I like had to sit in the rooms. Did you? I had to go to- well, Did you I work did, the program or did you fuck around? I fucked around. Oh, you got fake chips? Nah, so what I did was like- Fuck. They, <laughs> since like given my situation of like the first dude to ever go to rehab that didn't have a drug problem- <laughs> For CBD? For legit, like I sat down with the director and was like, dude, like I don't want to fuck with you. I know everyone tells you this. I really don't have a drug problem. It's like, sure. And she sure was like, <laughs> I explained my situation and she was like, all right, just fucking go on the Zoom calls because this is like an insurance thing. Yeah. All right, cool. So I would just like every morning, I would like fire up the Zoom call and then just go about my day. So you got a hot piss for CBD. For CBD. And then. It happens. It like I went through a, a meeting with like the school board and stuff, and they were like, "All right, dude, like you know, we get it." I had like you know, I was like, "Here's my license. I'm a hemp farmer. Here's what yeah, I yeah, made. Yeah. Here's the test that says there's THC in it. Here's the test that says it's legal. Here's your handbook." So the handbook for driving a bus said, "Use CBD only with extreme caution." Yeah. So I had Lyme disease, and it was COVID, so we weren't driving buses. Yeah. So they called us all in. I think they were trying to like thin the herd. Because they literally had a meeting about how we might not go back to school for another two years. This yeah. was like peak fucking yeah. COVID-19. And uh, then they were like, oh, everyone's getting drug tested today, too. And I'd been taking like probably 60 milligrams of CBD twice a day. Okay. Because I was having like Hulk extreme dose. joint pain. Hulk like dose. two big doses just to like, because I could move. Yeah. And uh, has Lyme's that fucked up? 
Oh, limes is so fucked up. Really? It's so. It's a. You know, there's a group of people cr- trying to say limes is like an actual like sick plug-in for your body, and like it like, helps you out. I could see that. R- well, why I would have no idea? There's people being like, "No, it's actually like good for <laughs> They're you." They're just coping because like you're fucked up. For yeah, a while. I've heard but, it's um, nasty, dude. It's, Rob, my bad to cut you off. Rob Cruz had a tick on his dick one time, and it uh it buried itself in there. The guy that I do the podcast with, oh, shout out so to Rob. To get it out of his dick hole? No, he pulled it out. But the, oh, and it was in his dick hole or in his <clears> dick. He pulled the. It was in his in his shaft, and he pulled the body out, and the head stayed in there. Did he get dick lime? I think he did, dude. Did he get a target on his dick? I don't know, dude. You'll have to ask him. I'll have to ask him, dude. <laughs> you have to be packing to see a whenever target I, on your dick. Whenever I hear sure. about ticks or Lyme disease, though, I have to tell people my boy Rob had a tick on his dick. My I'd, bad, continue. I would have kept it, dude. That counts. <laughs> what? That's increased size and girth. Yeah, it's like a little... Oh, that's increased <laughs> size. That's an extra yeah. bump. But yeah, but when I went like in ribbed. there... <laughs> so like i was doing the zoom meetings online right on like mm-hmm. uh but i was also harvesting hemp and stuff sure during that time so if it rained and i couldn't work out in the hemp field i was just be like fuck i'm going to the meeting yeah so i would drive down and just fucking chill in the room and oh like, and the actual you had the stuff. option to zoom or be in the room yeah i could go to the room if i wanted to yeah so i would drive down and just fucking go sit in the room and then on fridays i had to go there and piss in a cup Mm-hmm. So every Friday, I would just go to the meeting because it was like kind of cool. Yeah, it fucking rules. Like you would like tell stories. I kept trying to promote microdosing in there, and they were not having it. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. Hey. <laughs> and I was like, dudes, don't want to sound like a psychopath, but psychedelics can get rid of all of this. And they'd be like, Tom, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> I like, can't do that. Yeah, that's a hot just debate. That's a hot debate there. in the sober community. Yeah, it is. It's like there's people who are like know nothing, and other people who are more they call themselves the harm reductionists. Where they're yeah. like, nah, bro. Like, but I was it. like. Just talking to them about it. I was like, dude, yeah. this could, you know, if you want to get out of this, here's another way to do this. And they were just like, dude, stop or else you can't come here anymore. So they were trying to tell me that I couldn't come to the meetings anymore and had to do Zoom if I kept up my antics in the room. Really? They're not in a friendly way. Everything was very friendly. They were like, dude, we're going to put you back on Zoom. You should have went there and like started selling subs and shit. You know what was weird? In the rooms, you weren't allowed <laughs> to bring monster energy drinks. Really? Because they said dudes would come to meetings and drink like nine Monster Energy <laughs> drinks and be just as fucked up if they like smoked meth. That's the right, dude. <laughs> but they banned, They were like, no more Monster No energy. more Monsters. But you can have coffee though, right? You could drink coffee, which is fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, this place sounds like no fun, dude. like 90 dude. coffees. And the only thing that's cool is people tell these wild fucking stories. What about rock stars? Can you drink rock stars? I think all I don't of think like, it's brand specific. I think they can't drink. <laughs> yeah, I think you just can't come in with the tall boy screw top metal cans. <laughs> like, really. No, this is different. It does get people itching, though. Yeah. Because, dude, the lady there told me that like, people would come in with, like, four of them parked next to them and just, like, crack. Like, you know the big fat Red Bulls? Yeah. They would just fucking dong, like, five Red Bulls and just be, like, skitzing in the meeting. I feel for, I always feel for dudes that need to escape their consciousness that hard. But, like, you're here to get rid of a cocaine and booze problem and you just drank nine Red Bulls. Yeah, but there's dudes that are just like, I feel good when I do this. Yeah. And they're like, what the fuck, man? I got to like, I need to do something. I got to have something. Yeah, I was, I watched, I, I drove up to New York yesterday up and back and I watched like a four hour video. I mean, there's this video, was, it was long. It was about the Christian archetypes, like Jungian stuff. But the stuff they talk about is like how, pe- how basically we all have this gatekeeper in our brains that like decides what we let out, what we don't let out. So there's like there's like your person your, your personality is basically a mask. Yeah. There's a ton of other stuff that like doesn't see the light of day, and it's just, it's really funny thinking about how there are dudes who are just like or pretty much everybody. You have to keep so much of that stuff back. Yeah. And then what happens is when you keep too much of the wrong stuff back, you just start doing like the craziest shit. And you can't make sense of why you're doing it. Why? Because you're bottling up all the wrong stuff. Your organisms and your organisms rebelling against your persona. So you yeah. have an entire organism you have to answer to, but you're like, no, 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 no. I'm just like, this is who I am. And your whole yeah, body, I don't do that. I don't your whole do body's like, no, you're not, bro. And Check then they go out. do it. And you start getting fucked up. Like a lot, that's what the whole point is. A lot of those dudes who are like, I'm just sober. I don't fucking touch it. That's all you're thinking about all day. And you're building up the counter position, which is like, you'd be like, I'm going to get fucked up. And you're like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah, they keep pushing And it eventually down. just fucking breaks out. Or it goes into like another channel. Like yeah. you'll get like ridiculously into lifting weights and reading the Bible or like, yeah, yeah. They just do something else. Well, it made me laugh. Cause I was like, dude, if, cause I was like, damn, it sucks. We have to deal with that. But I'm like, if we didn't have that function, every parking lot would be people blasting like the guitar solo of Freebird, being yeah. like, yeah, I just queued it up to this. Part. I don't know. <laughs> it was just, just here. I swear. This I swear. Room. I didn't just like happen to get in here and fast forward to this part. <laughs> it would just be every car. People. <laughs> <laughs> and we arm out the window. Just like, 
I have to fight to not do that. Like every time just I get do it, I do it, dude. <laughs> no. I got Jimmy cr- Buffett's greatest hits in my van. Yeah, but cranking bird, cranking bird on that <laughs> solo. All I want to do is get in a car and crank bird and act <laughs> like it. I just so happen to be on like the drop of the guitar solo. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I like so I have Driving a, CD a little player faster in my than van normal. and I don't have like an aux. Mm-hmm. So I just I found the Jimmy Buffett greatest hits CD. Yeah. And you can just let it play, and you can pull up at any moment of that CD, and people are like, that dude's chilling. <laughs> it's like 13 tracks, and every single second of every track, if you pull up with the window down, your arm out, they'll be like, oh, that guy's a good guy right there. That's what he, that's what I was geeking on in my car. I'm like, because I'll do the same thing, right? I'm like, I'm, I'm going to put this song on. be so cool. And I deny it. My ego goes, dude, we're not doing that. Grow up. Dude, Stop queuing are... up sick parts of songs <laughs> and acting like it just happened that way. Like you're not. We're well, not. Like, where are you pulling up to? Doesn't matter, bro. Parking lot of the but grocery store. Like everyone store. has their windows up these days. Yeah, but dude, like it's... back in high school, everyone drove. I, I feel like it was more normal not <laughs> I, to have like air I conditioning. I saw a dude do this one time where he had to have queued up Freebird. It was like you know when everyone gets to start driving in high school. Yeah. This dude had Freebird queued on the way out and like drove out fast. And I was, I remember just being like, you motherfucker, dude. <laughs> you motherfucker. It's a sick move. It's such a sick move. I might start exclusive. I might just keep it on a loop. Yeah, just make a Freebird loop of like, or the beginning. Not the beginning. Like, I need that. Uh, just when it, just fucking pull out and be like, Jesus Christ. Whoa, was I driving a little fast in this parking lot? Didn't even notice. Sorry, didn't even realize it. Thinking about lost loves. <laughs> But yeah, Dude, I, I still do that. I turn the bass in my car higher if I know I'm driving by people <laughs> intentionally. <laughs> like I want them to hear these fucking this system. Do you have a system? And this, no, not at all. Dude. Ah. It's the stock Chevy Cobalt system. Dude. So you're gonna hear this thing. <laughs> people still fuck thump. with systems. No, I don't think. That, I hope like, not. Like, tens. I, I thought like about. I might start. Yeah, I thought yeah. about getting tens. Twelves are. It bumped you hard, but some nice crisp. Like, remember, like trunk? kids with rattling trunks? They were like yeah. kind of cool in high school. That was yeah. the move, dude. I had I had a '92 Ford Taurus with 12s in the back. Oh. That thing and was it fucking just fucking rattling, rocking. My check engine light never came off, but my system was hitting, dude. <laughs> it was like this car sucked. Never got an oil change. <laughs> was, like crashed it multiple times. <laughs> it was the system was so fucking funny. <laughs> Is it sounds terrible? It's such an unpleasant car ride. I've been in the back of those cars. And your chest is just vibrating. Yeah, I remember this kid that drove me to high school. I'd be like, dude, why are you doing this? This sucks. He'd be like, no, nah, this is fucking sick. <laughs> I, I mean, mean, my ears hurt. My stomach hurt. It's <laughs> bad. It's like, it's bad for you. It's like, and you put on like Wu-Tang. And, and you can't like, hear This anything. sounds better if you shut those speakers. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> dude, yeah. it was definitely the coolest thing you could do, though. At oh, like was, 17 years old. Oh, yeah. Pull up. Yeah. The system's just being like the Burger King parking lot, just fucking cranking it, dude. It's True. funny in high school, dude, because like that would be the coolest thing for like one group, and then another group would have the other coolest thing. So you'd see the whole high school parking lot just filled with like some dudes like burning J's and like listening to fish, <laughs> and then like dudes bumping their systems. And yeah. like, you'd be like, what? Which like it was just everyone was doing the coolest thing for their subsect of high school group. Yeah, now everyone's windows up NPR, dude. Bullshit. What is what are high school groups like? If you're in high school, what are your options now? How the fuck, fuck would I know, bro? They, what? I'm not a fucking <laughs> pedo. I, I thought you said you worked in high schools for a little bit, dude. That was a, I did. I, you worked in high schools for a lot. I'm not saying you're a pedo, dude. Damn, dude. High schoolers. Are, that's your fucking. That's that shit getting out, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. My shadow. That's the shadow. That's the per. That's the ped shadow. That's the shadow. They're listening to pods, dude. But I'm saying, Heads like, funny, or are you projecting your ped shadow? Ped shadow onto me. I, I have no ped shadow, dude. <laughs> um, what a strong ego. <laughs> what, uh, no, I'm saying, what are your options now? Like when I was in high school, I you, mean, it, I was in an all black high school, so it was like when I was working there. So it was like, it's there's it's not like I, I mean there is like obviously there's kind of like a diversity within that, but it was yeah, like more Joe or less, Biden, huh? I said it's like a Joe Biden comment. What do you mean? That all blacks vote the same. They do the same. No, stuff. I'm saying there's a, there's a diversity, <laughs> but for me it was more subtle than like if I'm in a uh, white yeah, high school, yeah, I'm like yeah, those are donors, these are this because yeah, it's yeah. like. There's a different relationship to weed. Like white kids, I've always noticed this when I was younger. White kids and black kids typically have a, a different relationship to weed. Whereas, like, I feel like white dudes get into it more. By yeah. and large, I'm, yeah, talking, I'm making broad yeah, strokes. They, they make it more of their identity. I'm making broad strokes. No, yeah, you're not white, wrong. Dudes, white dudes make it more of their identity, and black dudes just kind of like smoke weed and like yeah. just fucking do. Black it, so. dudes are always like, "Why are you pulling the bong out? It's unnecessary. Why you got that thing?" True. Yeah. They're not about that. When I pull that thing out, you pull that yeah. thing out on them. It's, it's definitely like I pack that thing too. You know what I mean? <laughs> it, yeah, but yeah. So it was like I mean, it was really there. It was more like anime dudes than like just like 
actual like nerds and you had just like a lot of like cool dudes. There's like a bigger contingent of like cool kids. Yeah. So it was, it wasn't really as for me, it was like, you know, obviously there's like people play sports, people who don't, but it wasn't as like when I was in high school, I, mean, I guess too, if I went there and was like, peer yeah, you would know the layers. But when I saw it was more just like anime dudes, cool dudes. And then any like, hot just kids, hard nerds. So what? Any hot kids? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Say what? Bro, I was in a trusted position. Dude, it was a test. I was in a trusted position. Yeah. That I mean, is dude, so fucked, dude. I, like, I got all my background checks. You're back. Are you clear? Clear as a bell. Me too. I I did feel sick. Another one time, I had a, I had to get my FBI clearance, and I have a, I got a smudge on my record. Nothing, nothing. Wait, none of those what? bad charges. <laughs> um, just trespassing at uh Grotto's Pizza in Wilmington, Delaware. Oh damn! So when they came back, the employer was like. They didn't say what it was. Like, you did have a check, but you're clear for all, like, the bad shit. And I was like, yeah. I but know. you never got one of those checks to work. Did you have to get a check to work in the school? Yeah, hell yeah, right, dude. I was checking. Dude, when I worked, I worked as a TA for a year or, like, half a year. And then uh, summertime came, and then they fired everybody. Because I was planning on going back the next year. But they got rid of everyone. That It was, like, a third party that put us there. But two of the people that I worked with fucked kids. Yeah. <laughs> like, fucked kids. It came up. Like, they got caught fucking kids. Or, like, messing around. I don't know if they fucked kids, but they were messing around with kids. I think so with clean. kids, it's like, as soon as you kiss a kid, you're good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> they did enough, dude. But that is a law. You were a TA. What, what grades were these? High school. So, I was with, like, seniors. I don't know exactly what happened. How old like, were you? I was 23 at the time. And then other kids your age were banging them, or it was, like, older ones? I think it was older ones. It was one male with a female student and one female with a male student. Together? No. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't call me? No. <laughs> that's sick. Yeah. That's dude. fucked up. Yeah. Bad that, stuff. That is pretty crazy, man. I, I would be there and like cause I was more there as like as like a counselor. So I was like sitting there like dealing with like kids like emotional stuff and I'm like, dude, there are guys that like work that into basically an interact like a yeah. sexual interaction. It's like, God, what a fuck what a demon, dude. What a demon. Yeah. It's just like those especially like the priests that would find like wayward youth and then fuck them. So that like, was dude, what they did for years. You can't just jerk off, dude. Yeah. No. They just not be into that. <laughs> just to see like a teenager like going through it, especially when you're like, you deal with them sometimes and be like, I don't know how to break this to you, bro. Like this is not going to get better for a long time because you're a kid and you're like in the care of people who are just completely fucking up. Yeah. You're like, mm, I'm gonna and then to be, like, this, to be like, to be like, I'm going to fuck this person. It's like, dude, that's it's the, like some kid comes to you, He's like, my dad's always drinking. You're like, I'm like, get my dick. <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy, dude. It's like, it's like the same thing, you know, like when it, like, yeah, like you have to spit that G too. So you'd be like, yeah, I'm not much of a drinker. Myself. But you know, like when you're, you know, when you're, you know, when you're like, <laughs> Younger and you're like some girl comes to you like and you're working with her. She's like my boyfriend's such a dick. Like mm -hmm. it was our anniversary and you're like, you like a bell goes off. And you're like I might fucking bang that. You're like, <laughs> Dude, if I was your boyfriend, I would never do that. Like, yep. Imagine being a priest. And it's like my dad got drunk last night and like didn't show up for my birthday. And you're like I might fucking I might get laid. Like, <laughs> dude, it's so fucking it's nuts. so sick. It's so sinister, dude. What are you gonna do as a new Catholic or as a returning Catholic? I would get in there and clean that stuff out. I, 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 dude, I swear to God, I, th I think about this constantly. I want to, I want to sit and talk to a priest for like four hours, dude. And be like, what the it. fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> you guys, on, we're on the precipice of a gigantic spiritual reawakening. Yeah. Are, are you going to take the body of Christ on your tongue or in your hand? Uh, are you letting him place it on your tongue? When's the last time you received? Um, I have a gluten allergy, so I don't receive. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's beat. But I, 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 I would wine. Just sip the wine. Yeah. Yeah. Sip the wine. I haven't received in a long time. I haven't ever received. I sit out. I don't receive. It's also that's a sick thing to do too, though. Well, sit out to sit out and be like, yeah, oh, I sin. Sin. Yeah, you're not allowed to get yeah. the body if you've sinned. You, yeah, you know those guys are sinners, dude. Who? The people that are not going up to receive, like walking past them. You always look at them with shame. Yeah, you're yeah, like, true. No. usually always, you do. Yeah, that was always a big thing. Look, I grew up Catholic, dude. Did you? I get the I get the stuff. It's the best. It when was you all right. Stop going to church. Uh, like when I moved out of my parents' house, uh, probably like a year before that. Yeah, mine was like as soon as I got my license. Yeah, probably like 16, 17. Yeah, I would like <laughs> drive, eat a bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel and just sit and stare at a wall for 45 minutes and be like, all right, nice. I didn't go to church. Yeah, I didn't go to church. Home. Yeah. Just drive home. Dude, I went to confession recently. Not recently, probably like three, four years ago, though. Just and for kicks? Or my like, mom was like, you want to go to confession? Dude, I was like, sure. Yeah. yeah. I'll just, just drop on Face to face or the screen? Screen. Coward. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> it was my only option. Dude. I know, I know. I, I oh, like it would have been like crazy. The I think they stopped face to face. They probably did. It would have been crazy if I was like, "No, I got to tell you some shit." I'd, uh, give I me in your room. I used to face to face it. <laughs> What'd you drop on them? Nothing crazy. 
No. Yeah. Padre Pio would have sent you. He would have cursed you out. Well, dude, place. I had like ten years of sins to let this guy know well, yeah, about. Yeah. Well, you so. were just like, yeah, I don't know. Like, I was like, I, I lied to people sometimes. Yeah. And like, I stole some shit once, but like, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't go into it. Yeah. That in high school, I would like drop it on the priest. Did like, you really? Like, yeah. Fuck yeah. I'd be never... like, dude, we stole five fucking weed plants from Wayne's backyard. He's like, you you shouldn't be telling me this. It's like, say five Hail Marys. Stop doing this. Right on. Get out of here. Like, Pastor, we were out there with fucking hedge clippers, dog. You, you should have seen these things. We were digging them up out of the fucking two hands on the root. He's like, what? Oh, it's so I'm sorry, funny. Father. Stealing weed plants is a fucked up crime. Yeah. Not, I mean, I'm not attacking you. I've done things in my past, but that is a disheartening crime. Dude, it's it's the biggest adrenaline rush you when, can get. When did you wait to steal them? <laughs> I was always at night. I'm saying like what time of the year? Like right before they came out so of the ground. Wait, yeah, so you yeah. wait like, okay. There was always like outdoor plant. It was never like yeah, fucking yeah. some crazy shit. But yeah, there were so many people that had like fields of weed. I was Where did you grow up? Upstate New York. Oh, that's Dude, awesome. I was telling uh, Sydney this story that if you bought Google Maps, because Google Maps, you can like see a fucking... They update it like every couple months, but you mm -hmm. can see some shit. But if you pay for Google Maps, you get like a live update of the earth. And then you can see where people are growing weed plants. And you really take and, them? Yeah, dude. <laughs> you just bring a fucking, some hedge clippers and a tarp and So you can see what like, up, people dude. are getting into? I don't think, it's not like a, they update it much more. It's not, I don't think it's a live Yeah, stream. yeah, yeah. Oh. But yeah. But we would like, yeah, we would just fucking... Zoom in on shit and scan the whole neighborhood, dude. Jesus Christ. That's nuts. It's <laughs> pretty sick. Demon time, dude. What was the biggest haul you got in terms of? Uh, I It was a ping pong table's worth of weed. What? It, it was like the whole ping pong table was full and it was like stacked multiple feet high. That's Damn, nuts. that's fucking awesome. Yeah. It was a good summer, dude. That's pretty good. Yeah. Or I guess good fall. But Fuck, dude. That's awesome. It's the move, dude. But yeah, that's that's been it can, my. It can fund your high school missions for a long time. You but, don't need much, dude. Yeah, exactly. A couple hundred, yeah. couple hundred bucks, dude. You're a fucking. Get you a four Taurus and a system, dude. True. <laughs> Life changes. Fuck, dude. Gardini, where are we at time wise? I got to do these goddamn advertisements. We're at Forty-one. Perfect. I got to do these goddamn advertisements. Um, let me see right here. I'm I'm so sorry for the lull. If you guys could come up with something awesome to say, that'd be great. But guys, right now, I'll tell you this, guys. It's a smooth sack summer. Manscaped is making sure you have everything you need to stay fresh below the equator, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Man. <laughs> um, and also, I don't know if anyone's ever trimmed their ball hair, but there's a Manscaped Performance Package 4.0 has it all. The Lawnmower 4.0 Body Trimmer and Weed Whacker Nose Hair and Ear Trimmer feature skin-safe technology to protect your delicate holes. Jesus. <laughs> They're waterproof, too. Take a look at the Shears 2.0, their luxury nail grooming kit. It includes stainless steel nail cutters, tweezers, and grooming scissors. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code drenched at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code drenched at manscaped.com. It's smooth sack summer, boys. Get on board or get left behind. Sh shave your sack or get monkey pox. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get vaxxed for it yet? Monkey pox? Yeah. No, I took that other vax. Which one? Not fucking news. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Football season is about to begin. Get ready for NFL Week 1 action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. To celebrate the return of football, bet just $5 on any football game and get $200 in free bets. Experience the thrill of DraftKings early win promotion. Get up seven and you win. Bet on any NFL team of your choice. If your team leads by seven points at any point during the game, you get paid instantly. Even if your team loses, you win. Um, I don't have any picks. I don't watch this. But DraftKings is safe, <laughs> secure, and reliable. Deposit and withdraw your cash whenever you want. Download, a draft, dra download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use promo code DRENCHED to get the $200 in free bets instantly when you place $5 bet on any game. That's code DRENCHED. Only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See show notes for details. DraftKings, now go win some money. This is your year. Fuck last year. This year, you're coming out on top. <laughs> Just keep going. We did it. You'll eventually win. Hell yeah. You will eventually win. Gambler's ruined. Just keep doubling down. <laughs> You'll figure it out. <laughs> You'll figure it out. But Great. yeah, man. I dude, I I still I've been tripping on that. Do constantly. you have to do a gambling addiction thing for that? Who? Like, do you have to do like if you have if you get a gambling problem, please call one eight hundred gambler. 
Not my problem. Oh, right. Not my gambling problem. <laughs> no, I think they have like they have extensive fucking show notes. Right, Dude, cool, gambling cool. addiction is crazy. It's the, it's the only addiction I can't understand. Only one? No, I'm saying every other one I can understand like what you're I know, chasing. I know, I know what you mean. You know what I mean? Hey, what like, about cigarettes? What? What about cigarettes? Sean's desperately addicted to cigarettes. I understand the addiction to cigarettes. How? Thank you, Tom. Well, just because like, <laughs> like I have an addiction to like if I drive. I need a bev or a smoothie. I like Even I can't just fixation. drive a car. An oral fixation. I do, right? I also need like something to like fuck with if I'm sitting somewhere. Yeah. So it could be like this bowl or like even this thing. I picked this thing up and fucked with it a little. Yeah. So cigarettes kind of give you that that yeah that moment. That's why I smoke blunts so much because like I like rolling them more than I like smoking. I'm with you on that. Like, yeah. I just told you I just rolled like a hundred joints last yeah. week. Yeah. And I don't even really want to smoke them, but I love rolling joints. Yeah, it's a good time. But six, I love having a ton of joints. It's true. Having a ton of pre rolls at your disposal yeah, really is nice. so fucking sick. But I don't ever smoke them. Like, yeah, I, I just that's true. But I, although going to a wedding though, it's nice to have like having had like a humongous a couple of joints on you at a wedding. Yeah, is nice to pop it's out. always nice to roll up with. Like I mean, I'm purely joints. in the future right now, dude. That's nuts. What's that? Five meo DMT. Obviously. It's <laughs> Obviously, I'm no, but I'm saying gambling right is the only adi- like I like when I see dudes like geeked on fucking heroin. I'm like that probably feels good. I understand why you're addicted, and you'll get sick if you don't do it. But when I see winning dudes, money feels good, yeah. But when I see dudes that like start to like get on like thin ice <coughs> financially, yeah, at the first time, like let's say it's like oh I lost my paycheck, I'd be like I'm not going to the casino anymore. <coughs> yeah, but they think they're getting it back. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand like the. <laughs> It, like every other addiction is like a constant. You're trading it for an immediate gratification. <clears throat> yeah, but they're for the gambler. From what I've heard, they're chasing that flow state. You get into a point where you're yeah, so I maxed so. out on yeah, adrenaline. Yeah, yeah. It's like win or lose. This is what I've heard. Win or lose is just like you get to a point where you're you're just in a pure flow, like a completely unthinking state, just sliding the chips across the table. Yeah, I guess it shuts like, your brain off. Lose, win, lose, win, lose, win, and you just kind of get into it where you're just like, this is. This feeling of like a and that that flow. feeling of like it's it's coming it's coming like yeah exactly you lose yeah, yourself. Yeah, and right. dude like when you win it's like if you're like betting on sports like it's it's just one of those things where I think part of it too is being like because when I get I like never got hard into gambling when I the first times I went to a casino I won like every single time. And I started like instantly being like, dude, I might just have like, like luck's a real thing like luck's a thing people will start to like believe yeah in. All they'll right. be like I might have luck. And they'll start getting into that and like like they bet on the game, like, yo, I might just know what happens in the future. There's yeah. part of you that feels like if you feel godlike when you like win in gambling, you're just Especially like Especially if you're doing like over unders and stuff and you're like Yeah. I guess so. I mean right. if you put like a bunch of money on red and it lands red, there's like a the universe it's like the universe gives you a sign. Maybe yeah. I'm just fucked up, but I would yeah. do it and just be like Fuck, dude! Fuck! How yeah. far can I take? I'm this, gonna get dude? pussy tonight. Today's my yeah. day. I'm like, dude, I, I, I'm good at this. All right, now I understand all. You get a then. big payoff. Yeah, gambling's like a serious body load. Yeah, <laughs> I get like it. When yeah. it's, I was up like 1,300 bucks in craps one time, and, and, you're just and fucking... was just like, <sighs> and you start losing it. And you're like, it's, it's pure schmeagle, dude. You're just like, yeah, no, it's, it's crazy. I guess I've only gambled like twice, but that, yeah, true. But I don't have an. I would. I'm so quick to walk off the table. Yeah, I'm up that's two, right. like, I'm I up lost like hundred bucks. I'm like, I'm, like, I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, I was up thirteen hundred and lost like I think like five or six of it really quick, and I was like, "That's I'm it." Here. Yeah, okay, I'm pocketing yeah, yeah. the six hundred and rolling. So. Yeah, when I hit triple digits, I'm out of there. I'll usually bet like twenty bucks, and if it goes like it, it's you get like one hundred and seventy yeah. bucks. Like, Dude, I'm yeah, out I'm of out of there for Peace sure. Out. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah, I'll usually go to a casino with like forty, fifty dollars, and then I guess drink I just, for free. Drinking for free is the move. So, I man. guess what I don't understand is like dudes that. Like lose their house and shit. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're I understand that on like drugs because you're <clears throat> you're out of your mind. Yeah, I, I get it. But like, you lost so much. You're like the big ones just. Yeah, the, the big corner. ones coming. The yeah. adrenaline rush. All right. Yeah. It's got to be such a crazy rush to just like know you have no money at all know, and just dude. put your house on the line. Yeah, it feels <laughs> so good. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. If like, like just I'm gonna win this kids back. college fund. Yeah. If you saved up a college. That's the one I always hear about. Like gambling away the kids college fund. And just being like, you couldn't be any more charged up than that. Just watching those ponies run, dude. Yeah, you just lose it. Your I daughter can't go to Penn actually. State and get blacked out and have sex with a bunch of dudes now. It might just be a defense mechanism. Yeah. Actually, yeah. She ends up at DCC. Yeah. 
<laughs> teach her a trade. Fuck it. Yeah. True. Teach her how to weld. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need more lady welders. That's if I, I would come up and be like, I've decided you're gonna weld. You could that's the good way to handle it. <laughs> and I would just go hit the casino. And your wife's like, What happened? And just be like, never mind. I've decided yeah, we're taking a more mind. traditional like, approach. Yeah, I think we're gonna move back to the land. <laughs> I've sold our house. <laughs> I gave it to the church. Yeah. All the money's been donated. So I would just join like the Latter day Saints. <laughs> I'd be like, I've had a dream. I'm getting another wife. You're either coming with me or you stay here. So so where's the money? Be like, don't worry about that. Yeah, I gave it to the church. You shut your mouth. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Just smack her. <laughs> <laughs> you'd have to say in character for the thing to pay off. Yeah, you'd have to like dive in. You'd have to be like, we're Mormon now. Yeah, like, <laughs> fuck that. Fuck money, dude. That shit's that's the, the way to go. That's what, that's what I would do if I can't. Telling your wife the truth is the worst thing every time. They're not built for the truth. <laughs> <They're not laughs> you need to just constantly <laughs> compound the lie. You have to. Just get it more and more complicated. <laughs> yeah, that's the. Uh, Tony, that's the shit I've been tripping out on the most of like how there is a, a huge part of you that's just constantly filtering so much stuff. And they're like, well, like not letting it out. Just, just there's so much stuff you can't let out of the bag. Just like oh, even no. the small, there's the smallest little bullshit. I'm telling you, there's stuff like, it, like, do you ever be in an argument and like you're kind of losing and you just kind of flip a thing real quick where you're like, yeah, this is kind of what I meant. Every oh, time yeah. I argue, dude, yeah, yeah. Done, like, I black out in arguments every pa- time. There's parts you do it. You don't even notice it going on. Wait, I'm not, I'm not picking up what you're putting down. So you're saying that there's a whole world of thoughts within your head, yeah. thoughts and potential actions and things you could entertain and proceed with. But there's a lot of stuff you strike down in your head day by day of like, that's not who I am. I don't do that kind of shit. I don't know if I do that. At all? I mean, probably some ways, like, I don't... We're all filtered, but a lot of times... Yeah, I'm filtered, but, like, usually I'm not, like... It's not like it's not like <clears throat> burning, like, huge parts of yourself. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, I usually... I'm talking little shit, like, I don't like... Like, when I would, like, the Backstreet Boys would come out, some of their songs were jamming. I'd be like, I don't like that. I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> but I'd be like, I don't like no, that. No, I've been getting into just getting into all... I used to... Yeah, I tell you, say, like... But as you get older, you do. When you're younger... Like, I used to have a CD booklet... When I was in high school, yeah, that had like all my CDs in it, and then I had like two Cure CDs in my glove compartment. They rule Cure rules, and I would be like, "No, nah, I'm not listening. Like, I don't want my boys know I'm in here listening to Cure." <laughs> yeah, dude, it takes like one time of the lunch table laughing at you. Oh yeah, mean, like I, yo, you fuck with Kelly Clarkson, you a fucking gay dude. Yeah, I'm like, no, no, I don't, dude. It's fucking. I think it's because I turn forever. forty. I think once you turn forty, it all of goes course. away. Eh, that doesn't yeah. all go away. That's. Like you're just kind of like this is fucking cool, right? It, it, like a lot of it. You're so far from cool at that point. True. That you're just swimming. In a the lot ocean. of it melts off. I was laughing like, because when I'm like, especially when you're younger, I was. Oh, I was, when you're younger, it's all day every. That's day. what I'm talking about. Oh, okay, okay. So you have like, like I thought you were telling me like you're still like no. turning your t-shirt inside out because you don't want anyone to know that you like. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not like that. But there's like like you're at the gym like fuck. I'm wearing these fucking corny sneakers and like my boy. No, here. there's. A, I'm just saying there's entire. There can be like entire life paths and all this. You have to. You have to do it. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. You have to self limit. Oh, yeah, I'm saying you have to like you, zero in. Yeah, when I was younger, I remember being like, "I'm a serious businessman, and I love business." I, I just made up this story about myself and my whole body. I remember this. My I was whole like body. Than you, and I was like, "Dude, Matt's tripping." Yeah, I was like, <laughs> Matt "I can got a white Hyundai." I can. <laughs> Because I was a realtor. <laughs> I was like, dude's like 19. He's going to buy a house off a 19 year old. I, I leased a fucking house. I became a realtor. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I'm a legitimate businessman and I love business and I'm going to make $100,000 a year and my life is going to be perfect. You that got was pyramid like, schemed. I had pyramid. No, I actually luckily somehow avoided pyramid schemes. I got pyramid schemed. I got, oh, I got introduced. <laughs> I got introduced to like two different ones on two different occasions and I like went with my friend or whoever introduced me and was able to be like, Nah, this is fucked. Like this, this doesn't dude, check out. I was I was selling Verizon FiOS door to door. Dude, I did and that every every night. I would go home and watch like Ray Lewis halftime speeches, and, be, <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna fire people up tomorrow. I'm gonna get people on my team. We're gonna sell these fucking Supreme packages. Dude, with were the you HBO. doing like the door to door shit? Yeah, and then like Philadelphia Elite Group was the name, dude. I, I think, was like, dude, that I think I worked like, for the same. T- I went I went on an interview <laughs> and I was like 20 and I was still in college. And like they sat me down and they're like, dude, you're still in college. We would kind of prefer you to have a degree, but you got something, man. So we're going to put you on the team. They saw something and in you. I went back to my girlfriend at the time and was like, yo, I'm probably dropping out of Drexel. And like, we should just get a house somewhere. I was like, probably stop taking yeah. your birth control. Like, <laughs> 
I'm about to make like 200 grand a year. Remember, they they literally told me on the interview you can make between 50 and 125 grand your first year. Yeah. And I was like, holy, so I'm dude, getting the 125. Grand. I went for my first day. <laughs> That's right? my plan. <laughs> Zero I, wasn't a thing. Yeah. I'm definitely not going to make no money. I went into the first day and I was like, wait, we're just knocking on people's doors and scamming them out of their like it was. <laughs> You were selling Verizon, but it tur- it turned into something else after three months, and like their bill went through the roof. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's also these things. I forget what they're called. Like a switch, and it's like a thing where you just switch their plan. You're like, I'm going to give you Verizon, but it's going to say it's same plan, but you're going to save fifty bucks a month. It's just and That's then what it, it was, like, and then it like switches. Yeah, and it then switches. It's- so I went on my first day, and I just like shadowed this guy. Yeah. Then my second day, we went up to like thirty fourth and Haverford, and we like split up, and I went into this like weird TV repair store. And the guy was like, what are you here for? And I was like, yeah, I'm here to talk about your Verizon bill. And he like came up to me and like didn't grab me, but like corner me and was like, dude, come in here again. And I'll fucking break your nose. Like, this is a scam. I was like, dude, I don't I just I was like, dude, they told me I make 100 grand. I was like, dude, you're the golden child. So I was like, dude, I'm so sorry. Like, they, they told me I make 100 grand. I have no idea what I'm doing. He's just like, dude, how old are you? I was like 19. He's like, fucking go home. Don't work for these jerk offs. So I literally just walked home because I was right near my house and left the other dude Damn. like. I never went again. Thank God for that guy. He just, it was like my second call. I like rolled in. I think I went into the first one and like bought a soda and came back out and like, what'd they say? And I was like, they said the manager will be back after lunch. <laughs> and he's like, all right, I'm going to go in here. You go in there. And like, that's where the dude jacked me up. And I was just like, dude, I hear you. I swear I'm going to quit right now. And I just walked the fuck home. And then Damn. I had to go back to my girlfriend. Like, I needed one of those. Pop, dude. Keep popping those things. Keep, pop- <laughs> keep <laughs> popping those things. But I remember I called dad too and was like, dude, like this is. He was like, I remember that. You're getting fucking conned. And I, I was remember like, dad, that. You don't know everything. And then like, <laughs> I had to go home on Sunday. Like, yeah, I got a different job at Chili's. Yeah, I'm still making 60 bucks a day. You know, I thought I was going to have like a quarter mil in the bank. Yeah, it turns out I'm just going to make 60 bucks a day for a long <laughs> time. We got to renew that birth I'm going to bust birth for control. 35 bucks. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we're probably going to get married now. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's Sorry, what happened dude. to me. I, I fully was like, I'm a realtor. I'm going to start making money, dude. If I just get 3% of a house purchase, that's like 12,000 bucks. Yeah. I like went to Brazil being like, I'm going to make 12,000 bucks. I'm going to have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> I like, didn't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my entire body rejected that. It was what, like that? at a certain point, just the narrative of being a business. Like I just, it, I wasn't genuinely interested in it. It was a part of myself that was trying to tweak the narrative. Yeah, that that's the thing like, I was getting. Yeah, no, out I hear, on. Yeah, it's a part of yourself that can try to tweak the narrative of who you tell yourself you are, and then when you do that for too long, your body just re- there's a whole other side of your body that's just like no. Yeah, I did that one like in the beginning of a relationship one time. I was like, I mean, that's every. I'm done yeah. tripping. I'm done smoking weed. I'm done saying bad words. I'm gonna be a good boy and I'm gonna <laughs> date this because like we went on like one date and I was like, this is not gonna work out. I remember that. But I was like, now nah, you know what? This is my time to fucking grow up. So like, no more smoking dope. No more tripping. No more anything. I'm going to be a good boy and we're going to fucking make this work. And I'll then, be like, a sexual pervert. After like nine <laughs> months, it was just like, wow, like I just doubled back. And then when we broke up, I went off the fucking rails. You went like against the year. organism. It's true. I that's hear what you're what, saying. Now. That's the whole thing. When you try yeah. to, when you try to build too much of a one sided perspective. Yeah. You're outside of your conscious awareness. You're building the absolute opposite of that. And it, that is just all the times you go, no, I'm not going to do that right. And it just goes whoop, in a little bucket. No, I'm not going to. It goes whoop, in a little bucket, little bucket. And then it adds up. And then if, then that starts to steer your decision making from the shadows where you're like, I could probably go into a wishy-washy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I'll just get a massage. And you'll literally you start think, making suds. You'll still be like, I'm the good dude. And you'll be acting from a, <clears throat> almost unconsciously from a network of just rejected thoughts and self concept. You start making suds. What do you mean? Seemingly unimportant decisions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm just going to like, Sons. I'm just going to go this way. <laughs> Seemingly unimportant. I learned that from, I got to add it. I, I learned that from AA. Pervert Park. No, that's from Pervert Park. Pervert Park. The guy was like, you know, like. I want to go to that AA. Dude, go to the fucking pet AA. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch Pervert Park? Yeah. It's, What's did you watch on? Pervert no, Park? I've heard of it. What's it's it on? The it's on saddest, Netflix. It's, it's one, the toughest watch. It's one of like three things that I've had to shut off. Dude, yeah. I had an aunt that moved to a trailer park in Florida, and I was like, "Ooh, let me check this." But it wasn't that one. It wasn't I was there park. just for a second, though, dude. So I'm this like, was like a trailer park that yeah, was dudes throw like bottles at them and shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, dude, it was a trailer park that was far away enough where there were no school zones, so right. pedophiles could rent there. Yeah. So it ended up just getting packed with pedophiles. So and now was, it's like all pedophiles, right? It's, well, it's just like a like, therapeutic community, though. They have like dudes in there trying to help. Yeah, you. dudes trying to be like they're all paroled up. That's like a that's a um. 
I th- I, th- I thought it was it's like a halfway like, situation. Yeah, that's kind of like a half. That wasn't yeah. just like a group of fucking. It wasn't like. Well, they no, no. I think it was lanes. like they made a spot for them. So it's like they try to get them. Yes, jobs, they did. They did. They yeah. But they like bury them in fucking warehouses and stuff. Yeah. You can't work anywhere if you have a like a sex crime on a child charge. Yeah. You know? But the one dude kept talking about suds. So he's like, you know, I was like just trying to watch some porn. Like they. So I'm watching like this is fascinating. Then they started interviewing the individual ones about their crime, and Probably. I was like, I tapped out. This now that what fucked, fucked me son. up was that like all of them, for the most part, all of them had stories of being horribly molested themselves. Yeah. So I'm like, dude, dudes are throwing bottles at them. I'm like, I'm watching like, fuck, I'm laughing like, ah. Then the like the lady was like, I was having sex with my dad for 20 years, and I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah. And you're like, oh fuck, but yeah, like, the, dude, she like left her dad, and then. Like try to get like set apart like a, a have like a normal life and like I don't know if she was dating someone or what, but she ended up like 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 you were saying like had to come back but rather than have to come back and like yeah it turns out you know I didn't have it as figured out in the world as I thought I did she started fucking her dad again, so she had to come home and like as an adult and just take up a sexual relationship with her father. Damn, dad I was fucking out, putting dude. that thing down. What? <laughs> literally, literally, <laughs> bro. Literally, <laughs> literally. I dad tapped was out, blowing then, her back out. What? It's so dude, fucked, dude. And you're watching her just being like, that was literally all I knew. That was normal to me. I just turned it dude, off. The I'm other like, dude went on a date, Christ. right? The guy was like, like some, like he was like, uh, just, you know, no luck with the ladies type. Yeah. Finally gets a date. <laughs> they ignored him. <laughs> the date goes south. Yeah. He fucking spazzes after he drops his date off. First kid he sees, he jumps out of his car. No, he, and tries. Drove, he drove to Mexico. Oh, to Mexico. So he was in, I guess he was in <clears throat> Texas for a yeah. date. And he just, yeah, fully didn't work out. He was like, fuck this chick. And then it was like he had a critical Elliot Rogers moment where he's like, am I going to go shoot up a sorority? And he's like, no, I'm going to go to Mexico. And he had tried to abduct someone's daughter down there. And they beat the shit out of him. <laughs> this is on the documentary? Yeah, yes. he's talking. He's like, dude, I fucked up. You know? <laughs> yeah, he's acting like all these other people have these like stories like, oh, man, that's fucking well, no, that, like, fuck that guy. Said he was like, yeah, you know, like I was watching porno tapes and my niece and her friends, they were all in the next room having a sleepover. Yeah, was, you know, they're suds. Like, I didn't think of it at the time, but yeah. I knew what I was setting up. I knew they were walking in. <laughs> is that, so wait, the kid in Mexico is a sud. Suds. No, the suds. That was, was a very important decision. Who would decide he was having <laughs> a child and trying to bring him into the country. The dude making suds was like watching porn with his door open, like while his niece and nephew were in the other room. Yeah. Yeah, and he knew that they had to like come through to get it back. Also, a pretty important decision. That's, That's not important a side at all. Yeah. But he acted like it was like oh, yeah, I'll just I see. He board. was he was bit by bit in it. Yeah, he was just like oh, that I guy know. could have been like, like oh, I'm suds, check on kids. Suds are like fucking Crocs on or not. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's a yeah. real sud. Like jerking off in front of your niece is not. That's it. <laughs> it's not a sud. That's a that's life. Huds, it's a way he tried to play high, it as a sud. High alert <laughs> yeah. decision. Something or like taking the route that cuts through the playground. True. Yeah. It's, it's like, like oh, it's a, you know, it's two minutes slower, but still, it's a nice walk. And I mean, where <laughs> where are you walking where you have to cut through playgrounds? Pens, often? man. <laughs> just roll. Yeah, it's so it's ped life, dude. I don't know. Ped life is fucked, man. But yeah, a lot of them got molested, so you're kind of like. But you might have to put them down, dude. I mean, it, I know it's one it's of like those a things. dog that got the shit kicked out of him. You can't Ra- it's literally you're, you have rabies. Yeah, he's just like hey, you got dude. rabies, bro. Yeah, he can't let you out. I got to put you down, man. Sorry. Tale of old yeller. Yeah. It's uh, I mean, dude, it's literally that. It's it's such a heinous thing. It's like, like I I don't for a second think I could just like shoot people, but like I always like could I shoot a pedophile if I called a dude? Like this is the other thing I think about all the time. If it, if you get word that a dude's been pedo in your kids. Oh, you just do kill you him. call the cops? I would kill him. Or do you roll up? Or do I call the cops myself? Like, I'm about to kill this guy. You better fucking No, I'd, I'd call with the body. you call with the body? I'd be like, yo, I have a body. Yeah, but then you got to do jail the rest of your life. No, you wouldn't. No, nah, you would. record you With would, a clean dude. record, if you were like, yo, I, I, I snapped. Because that's what Cain Velasquez is True, you do like three years. That actually would be sick. Cain didn't even kill the guy. He shot at him, and he's he's doing an attempted murder. Who? Cain Velasquez, former UFC heavyweight champ. Why did he shoot at a guy? The the guy was uh, touching his daughter in preschool, and he found out about it, and then he ran up on the guy and shot at him. But he hit the guy's father who was in the car with him. Ah, uh, see, now you'd have to be meditated, like you'd have to like roll up, know where yeah. he is, watch him for a couple days. That's, crime, that's crime of passion. Yeah, that's what? that's. Did his dad die? No, it's fine. <clears throat> but yeah, also don't be rolling around with your kid when he fucks kids. 
Imagine you know I mean? like your dad True. gets shot. You're like, yo, dad, can you give me a quick lift? And then your dad gets shot. And he's like, what the fuck? And he's like, because you're a fucking pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> he had no idea. Or it's like, like when you can't hang out with drug dealers. Like, yo, they might have enemies. Yeah. yeah it's like you're hanging with pedos. It's like, yo, the block is so hot right now. <laughs> like, imagine your dad gets shot and you like look at the guy and you're like, I fucked his daughter. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, it's fucked, dude. It's deep shame. But Not anyway, good, dude. let's go to the page. Now that we're on this high it. note, let's hit the page. <laughs> yeah. 